What's up, Cal gang? Welcome to this dynamics problem. So let's see what we're given. So we're given that a particle is bound to this line, y is equal to 4x. And then this uh, bar moves to the right with a time x is equal to 4 to the t to the fourth. So our goal is to find velocity and acceleration and time is equal to one half of a second. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're given x in terms of t, right? Which is what we want because we want to find velocity and acceleration at t is equal to 0.5 seconds. But we're given y in terms of x. So our first goal should try to get to y in terms of t so that we can get a position vector in terms of t and then we can take some derivatives to find velocity and acceleration. So let's get started with that. So let's write out what we know, right? We know that x is equal to 4t to the fourth. And we know that y is equal to 4 uh, x right squared is equal to 4x, not t. So our goal is to get y in terms of t. So let's go ahead and plug in x is equal to 4t to the fourth, where this x is here. So moving that down, we're going to get y squared is equal to 4, and then 4t to the fourth. Right, so let's simplify this. y squared is equal to 16t to the fourth. Then let's take the square root of both sides to get y is equal to 4t to the second. Nice, so let's write, let's write a, 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 a vector of what our position vector is, right? So let's use r for our position vector. So our, our i, our x component, is going to be 4t to the fourth. And our x component is going to be 4t to the second. So of course, now if we want to find the velocity vector, all we have to do is take the derivative of this. We're taking the derivative of this, that 4 is going to come down, we're going to get 16t to the third i plus 8tj. So now if we want to find velocity at t is equal to 0.5 seconds, all we have to do is plug that in. e in 0.5 is equal to 16 times 0.5 to the third i plus 8 times 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 to the third is 1 8, so it's going to be 16 divided by 8. And we're going to get that b 0 0.5 is equal to 2i plus 4j, and then this is in meters per second. So we have the velocity vector, but we need to find the magnitude. So to find the magnitude, we're just going to take the square root of i squared plus j squared, and you do this, and you get that this is equal to 4.47 meters per second, and that is your answer to part a. So now we need to find the acceleration. So our acceleration is going to be similar. We're going to take another derivative. So let's go back to this here. We have velocity. Let's take the derivative of velocity to find acceleration. So 16 to the third. We're going to bring that 3 down. It's going to become 48 uh, t squared i. And then 8t is just going to become 8. So then let's plug in 1 half again. So it's going to be uh, 48. Uh, let's do a 0 0.5. So we're going to plug in one half. So this is going to become 0 0.5 squared i plus 8j. This is going to become a fourth. So 48 divided by 4 is equal to 12i plus 8j. Okay, so now let's find the magnitude of it. So a is equal to 12 squared plus 8 squared. Do this, and you're going to get 14.4 meters per second squared. And there's your second answer. So there we go. We found both parts of this question. Uh, pretty simple, right? It's just about taking the derivatives and knowing how to do it. So, of course, we're pretty early in the, in the book, so we're going to have some easy questions, but it's going to get harder. So feel free to check out the rest of my channel. I'm going to have a playlist. I'm going to upload a lot of dynamics problems, and you can follow along with me. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.